So can I call you Meech for the interview? Yes, yeah, but why is it Meech? Why are they calling you Meech? Uh, it's just a nickname that comes with Demetrius, you know, like Tony and Anthony. Okay. Um, or Dan and Daniel, you know, Dave, David. You okay. Know, type situation. Yeah. I call you Demetrius, but yeah. we're going to go with Meech now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. The Meech I saw last time was not the same Meech tonight. Yeah. You're running through people tonight. Lace, Lacey didn't know what hit him. Yeah. Right? You come out. He fived you, woke you up. Yeah. <laughs> and then you finished the match, right? Yeah. How good did that feel to come out and, and wrestle? How Demetrius Thomas can actually wrestle? Uh, oh, great. Um, I kind of mentioned to, I think, Craig Hannon this, that I just, I, I kind of got slumped and got lazy, you know, with my training and stuff. And um, I took some time to sit down and just uh, collect my thoughts and really just, you know, ask myself, you know, um, what, I, what do I want, you know, and I want, you know, I say all the time that I want to make the Olympics in the USA team, and, you know, and I, I tell myself I got to start taking it more serious, and I just flipped that switch, and tonight is just the beginning of flipping that switch, um, and hopefully it just continues to grow from there. PWC wrestlers. We're hitting gator rolls from front headlocks. Yeah. You had two. Pletcher had one. Yeah. You guys been working gator rolls? Um, I, I think, honestly, just um, him and I both get there in that situation a lot. Um, I give credit to Kay Regner, who coaches at Millersville. Um, he coached me at Williams Baptist University uh, my first two years, and he uh, was a Greco man. So a lot of my pinches and throws I learned from him. Um, uh, the, the more technical side of it, you know, I knew, you know, what a lat drop was and, you know, a suit play back in high school. But, you know, knowing how to do it, I give credit to him for that. And I've always had a good front headlock. Um, and I just, now that I'm freestyle, it's, it's effective to use it in the appropriate way. You know, doing that in folk style, that doesn't score me any points. That just makes the guy, you know, flop out and I got to go around and get two. Um, so I just, I'm now able to use it, so. So there's tons of redemption left for, left for you. Yeah. Last year. You and Luke both, man. I yeah. mean, what a horrible way to end. Yeah. You know, awful way to end your, your – but, but it happened to, you know, almost probably 100 almost other athletes, right? Yeah. And if you look at the NCAA's total, it was thousands. Yeah. Um, how do you gain redemption from, from last year? You were rolling. You know, you won the ACC. Mm-hmm. You were ready to make a run last year in, Min- in Minneapolis. It didn't happen. Right. How do, you, how do you make up for that now as a freestyler? I don't think you just make it up. Uh, you just count your blessings. I understand that um, it's, a, it's a blessing just to compete and just to be physically active. So um, I'm grateful for that. Um, but also, um, on top of that, I'm not just a wrestler. I'm a Christian who wrestles. So my my mindset is what I do, I use it as a platform to glorify God in the midst of the hope to spread the gospel to those who don't know him. Um, and that's just my mindset going forward. But also, you know, um, that doesn't mean that I stop being, you know, this ferocious competitor. You know, I think that uh, I think not being that kind of sell short and not giving all the Christ and what I do. Um, so I don't think I'm in a position of redemption. I'm just in a position of, I guess, growing myself, you know, and being a, a better, a better wrestler, a better man of Christ. Where do you go from here as far as competition? More of these cards. This was a late one added. Are you qualified yet for Olympic trials? Where do you go from here? Your last chance, what do you got to do? Yeah, I think last chance is my, 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 my thing I have to do. Um, I do have another event coming up this weekend. Um, I got invited to the, I think Penn's putting on an event. So um, that Penn RTC one on Friday? Yeah. So you got to turn around and go again. Yeah, I'm ready though. Um, this is this is fun. You know, this is, it feels like college again. You know, when you, like sometimes you, you wrestle Saturday, Sunday, or you wrestle Thursday, travel Friday, wrestle Saturday. You know, it just kind of feels that way. And this is good to get competition, you know, and get um, time on the mat against someone who's not my practice partner or those guys in the room. So right now you're not qualified though for, for Bryce Jordan and yeah, Olympic Trust. So that's obviously the goal. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you just got to put your head down and put the work in, you know. And like you said, it's last chance. So uh, take advantage. How many more quads for you as far as there'll be a three-year quad to 2024? Mm-hmm. Will you train through 2024, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I want to train until my wheels go bald and not fall off, you know, because they fall off. You know, that's – I don't think anyone wants to be in that position. But I'm in it. I'm in it. I need a knee replacement soon. Probably until I'm like 28. I'm 23 now, so – it's five, five years. I, I, would, I, would, I would second guess or see where I stand then. Should I go another three years and compete for the next? 
in my thirty. You know, because is this is just that sport where it's rare. I mean, honestly, in all professional sports, for a lot of athletes to go past thirty, you know, and, and still be at that level. You know, you got you know Jordan Burroughs doing this thing, LeBron James, of course. You know, Tom Brady. You know, though it's not as physical for him, it's still a, a taxing job to have at such an old age. Um, as an athlete, that's not really old, but. Um, you know, especially this sport, it just wears and tears on you like none other, you know. So um, we'll see when I turn 28 and see how I feel. So I go for that extra run. All right, Philadelphia on Friday. You got anything else for me? Uh, yeah, uh, for everyone who's listening and those who see this, uh, I want to mention that, and this is kind of what I stand for, uh, though Jesus says life's still hard, so do it hard. Thank you for the time. H2P. H2P. Good luck this weekend, all right? Yeah.